welcome once again to our family talk and I am just visiting a particular office in Kingston and I'm chatting with a wonderful young lady and she's going to tell us all about herself and all about her family because that's the, the main idea of this um, program. So, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> tell, us, tell us your name and who you, uh, where you're from and then, you know, the, the Vinci community will get to know more about you. Go right ahead. Well, hi, my name is Jana Ford Seals. I am from the lovely island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines that all right. we all share, of course. Vinci. Yes, Vinci all the way. All the way. And I'm from the small but lovely village of Belay. Okay, Belay. Lovely Belay. Lovely Belay. So that's where you grew up? Born, raised. Tell us about Belay and tell us what your name was back then in Belay. A little bit of your little history. Well, Bele is a very small and quiet village. It persons there are very humble, very friendly, very neighborly. Okay. Um, a lot of persons in my village they tend to be like farmers, that kind of stuff. Right. So a people are very family oriented. Bele. Awesome. It, a lot of persons, majority of people are very family oriented. So that's good. So hey, is it a, a closely knit community? Yeah, for the most part, yes. Yeah. So right. persons are familiar so a lot of times majority of persons are familiar even if you're not necessarily friend you're familiar with the person enough that you can hold a conversation right. so, apart from farming what, what's um Belay known for well that is very so quiet it's like just mostly talking chatting with neighbors and so forth so it's not like persons like by the way you're just only fishermen it's, just, like, right. it's just diverse diverse a nice blend of everything it's like a nice moon a little a little bit of everything is, there, is there any room in Belay for anybody who wants to come to live <laughs> oh, 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 drop in I <laughs> just drop in how far how far is Belay from town well I would say about 15 to 20 minutes drive if there's no traffic it's okay. generally okay. quick it's right there it's right there awesome awesome uh, lovely lovely yeah. tell us a bit about your family well i have a very close-knit family for me i grew up with my father my mother and my two sisters i'm the middle child middle child it's is all... that the spoiled child <laughs> oh i wish <laughs> so you're married now to a Seal. Seal, okay. Yeah. Before you talk about this, your, your, your seal part of the family, because you, you talk about your immediate, mm -hmm. um, tell us a bit about your parents, names, grandparents, how far back you can go. Okay, sure, no problem. Well, my lovely parents, they are Jimmy and Jenny Ford, and they've been married for over 30 years. Wow, I, hope, awesome. I, hope to, I hope to climb up there to meet them. All right, yeah. <laughs> you can, you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I have uh, my older sister, her name is Giselle Justin White. She's the oldest but the shortest of us, mm, but okay. love her dearly. And I have my younger love sister, she is the mouthpiece. She has a comeback for everything. Trust me, you just love her. Okay. You, you can't love her. She she's one of those people. Yeah, either you love her, you hate her, but you mostly just fall in love with her once you get to know sweet, and understand sweet, her. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yes. So, any brothers? No brothers. It's just, just all it's women. All, all women. All so my poor father just stuck with all these women. <laughs> poor him. Oh, what an experience. <laughs> what an experience. So the Fords are originally from? Born and bred. My father was born and bred in in, in Belay. His father born and bred in Belay. So we just, we just, we just love Belay. We just we were born there, we died okay. there, we stayed go there. Bele, we go not, Bele. We are moving from there. So tell us where, 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 where your mom originated now, where she's from originally. Okay, well, my mom, her parents' names were Karen and Joshua Sam. They were married. So my grandmother, Carol Sam, she is from the small village. Well, I shouldn't say small, but small enough village in Spring Village. She's, she's Spring a village Leeward roots. girl. She's a okay. Leeward girl. And then my grandfather's your name was Joshua Sam. Sam, he's from Diamond. So the country girl came to town oh. and met, met her future husband. So and they say, Thank God for King Stong, otherwise they <laughs> wouldn't have me. All so right. I'm very grateful for that. So, so you don't have a, a particular year when she came to came from No, but I know she was very young because she 
she wasn't in her she would have been just around 20 so it is a long time long time because sometimes you hear her talk now and she's older because her memory is going and she talk about the arrow field and awesome. running running and catching the buckets and running home to I try know. to meet her mother before she get licked me <laughs> because she had to deal with the animals and demons so she has her own stories of what life was like and it sounds very different from what it was no so she she said for her like she loved coming to the country because she's a very my grandma's one of those ones she's very family oriented sweetest kindest person she's not she's not the person if you cross you want to cross her but she believes in manners respect but the kindness sweetest yes yeah, that yeah awesome. she just she loves her family and she instilled that in my mother so my mom is just like that she loves her children she loves her family she'll bend and break her back for her family awesome okay so tell us a bit about you now your immediate family okay well me as a family can tell i'm quite a character in it mm, I can see that <laughs> full of energy <laughs> lots of energy that's my parents awesome. for putting up with all this energy in one room i don't know how they made it and as my it's mom positive. like <laughs> it's no, positive. It is. my mom would say she you are good now but when you were a kid oh my god <laughs> the energy she said keep oh, it started it. way back oh, oh way okay. back no oh thing. way back my <laughs> poor parents like they say I just be the child, I seem to be bouncing off of walls, full of oh, energy. Okay. And she's like, you're good now. She said, I can handle this now, but before it was a bit much. So, so you're, you're a church going person? God fearing person. Tell us a bit about that. Well, I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And okay. Yes, and because of that, of growing up as such, you get instilled values. And I ask the persons, for me, Jehovah is first, and everything else is a secondary matter. If you put your trust in the Bible, so you put your trust first in Jehovah and everything else will just walk Lovely, on. lovely. Walk on out. So I, I'm trying, I'm, just, I'm trying to... have to you glowing. <laughs> what <Awesome. did> I... <laughs> Yes. Wonderful, So wonderful. that is for me, is my proudest, the number one thing. I tell persons that, and I think because a lot of members of my family, I have my immediate family are witnesses as well. It helps because that it helps to keep us close and connected and so forth. Okay. What, what about social and work? Anything you want to mention before well, we wrap up? For me, I believe in always keeping everything separate. You have, there's a time and a place for everything, so you don't want Agree. to be a, a bunny. You just don't want to play, play, play all the time. What are you saying? All work and no play makes Jack, Jack a dull boy. boy. That's right. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> so you have to have a little bit of something. So sometimes, like this weekend, um, some of my friends and so forth, we, friends and so forth, we just had little different things like you go out and you meet or like table rock, so you have some awesome. outdoor activities or you have <laughs> gatherings in Portland. Now you talk about table rock, you could mention because they, they would be Vinci's in Canada, in the US. Tell them a little about table rock. Table rock is the place to be. <laughs> I mean, for me, I was first scared for me minute you're walking down and you, you see the stone and so forth, and you're like, Lord, please don't make me fall. It's a but, fun picnic spot, right? But, yes, it is. It's it is. cool. It's like first you get a little thing and then you get into it and you're like, okay, this is, this is actually uh, so kind of fun. Beautiful so, VC. So when you stop VC. a table rock, you can make your way and make your way to Vermont Nature right. Trail. Just keep going. <laughs> stop it, make, keep going. All right. <laughs> what you're going to do for me now is just to say hi. Or before you could say any encouraging word to somebody while, while you leave. Also, you can actually say hi to somebody, who, anybody you choose, whether it's a friend or family, whether you're in St. Vincent or elsewhere. Go right ahead. So this is for all my Vincies away, away from home. Trust me, you don't know what you're missing this warm weather. Hope you come back soon. Keep the fair and know and Vinci, we all miss you and love you. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving everywhere with me, family.